Offshore wind works for Maryland unions. Offshore wind works for Maryland's health. Offshore wind works for Maryland's grocery stores. Offshore wind works for jobs. Wind works for Maryland climate justice. Offshore wind works for Maryland's energy laws. Offshore wind works for Maryland's climate. One of the biggest problems facing the state of Maryland today is sea level rise from global warming. I'm standing in the Blackwater Wildlife Refuge in Dorchester County in Maryland's eastern shore, and behind me you can see dead and dying trees, fragmenting marsh. Actually, this one wildlife refuge loses an acre of land every day, day after day after day, because the oceans are rising, literally drowning the land. Maryland has the fourth highest childhood asthma rate in the country. Dirty coal fire power plants produce pollution that causes more than 20,000 asthma attacks, which are completely preventable. It also causes more than 500 premature deaths every year in this state. With a loss of over uh, 85,000 jobs since 1990 in manufacturing, it's critical for job creation within the state. Offshore wind in Maryland is a strategy to bring those jobs back that will benefit both Maryland workers and the Maryland labor movement. Asthma prevalence among black children is 60% higher than among white children. One way that we can solve this health problem and other health issues associated with energy is to jumpstart a clean energy economy within Maryland by supporting and investing in offshore wind technology. It's good for business and it's good for individuals who are looking for jobs. What we're talking about here, we're talking about something that's a lot less volatile as far as energy costs. And when you look at the long term, wind energy is going to cost the ratepayers far less than traditional sources of energy. Mom's Organic Market is a Maryland-based chain of grocery stores. Uh, Mom supports offshore wind because we believe it'll keep our food prices low because we'll be able to lock in stable electricity rates over a longer period of time, whereas fossil fuel prices will continue to rise. Maryland has some aggressive environmental goals, including a 20% renewable portfolio standard and a 25% greenhouse gas reduction goal. Offshore wind is Maryland's most plentiful renewable energy resource. If we tap offshore wind resources just off of Ocean City, we can achieve those goals. If we turn our back on that resource, there's no way we're gonna be able to do it using Maryland-based generation. Offshore wind. Offshore wind. Offshore wind. Offshore wind. Offshore wind. Offshore wind works for Maryland's energy laws. Works for Maryland's health. Works for Maryland businesses. Works for Maryland climate justice. Works for Maryland unions. Works for Maryland's grocery stores. And works for Maryland's climate. get this done. We need to get it done this year. This is just the beginning as we move to January in the General Assembly. And we're going to get this piece of legislation to Governor O'Malley's desk. He's going to sign into law and we're going to get offshore wind in Maryland. Thank you very much.